Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at how to install Pi-hole on a Raspberry Pi. Pi-hole is a network ad blocker that utilizes DNS query filtering to limit ad traffic. The setup process is pretty simple, but we will go through each step to ensure you can set up the application properly. Before we get started, make sure that you have the Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi Lite operating system installed and you are able to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. If you aren't sure how to configure this, I will leave a quick 3 minute tutorial in the description that shows you how. I will also leave a link in the description with written instructions for everything that we are going over today. The first step is to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. The automated installer that we will be using requires root permissions, so gain root access by typing the command sudo su. After gaining root access, we will type in a command to run the automated installer. If you view the written instructions link in the description, you will be able to copy and paste this command easily. After running the command, the setup process will begin. This will guide you through the process of configuring the Pi-hole application. After a few seconds, the installer will ask you to configure your upstream DNS server. Pi-hole filters DNS traffic, which means it views the domain names it receives, filters the bad traffic from the good traffic, and forwards the good traffic on to an upstream DNS provider. There is no incorrect upstream DNS provider, so pick your favorite and select OK. The next step will ask you to subscribe to third-party lists to block ads. You can choose to deselect these items, but since lists are the way that Pi-hole knows which traffic to filter, I suggest leaving the defaults and selecting OK. The next step asks what protocol you'd like to block ads on. You shouldn't deselect IPv4, but you can deselect IPv6 if you'd like. At this step, the installer will show you what your current IP address is set as. This step is very important because the IP address listed here is what you will use to point your client's DNS server to. This address must be static because if it ever changes, you will be unable to resolve domain names. There are no guarantees that Pi-hole can set this address to be static, so the best thing you can do is set a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi in your router's configuration. If this is not an option, I suggest selecting No and setting an address where the final three digits are higher than 100, as you will have a much lower chance of DHCP handing out this address. The second to last step will ask you to configure the admin interface. The admin interface is a web portal that is incredibly user friendly. I highly suggest leaving the next two options as on and proceeding to the last step. The final step is to configure logging and privacy. Logging is suggested as potential issues are easier to fix if you have a log file that you can reference. I suggest leaving this on, determining the privacy mode that you would like to use, and proceeding. The Pi-hole application will now install and prompt you when completed. A generic password will be presented, but I suggest resetting this password to be something you will remember by running the command listed in the instructions. This step is completely optional. You will now be able to access your Pi-hole web portal. Navigate to the website pi.hole slash admin or your IP address slash admin and enter in the password from the previous step. You will then be able to access the web section where you can add new lists, whitelist items, configure local DNS entries, and more. Now that Pi-hole is installed and configured, you need to set your client's DNS server to be your Raspberry Pi static IP address. The easiest thing to do is change your router's DNS server to be your Raspberry Pi static IP address. Making this one change will allow all devices connected to your router to use your Pi-hole as its DNS provider, which provides ad blocking capabilities on all devices. However, if you'd like to set this on a per device level, you can. By going to your network adapter properties, you can configure your DNS server manually. When done, flush your DNS and register your DNS. Your DNS server should now be listed as your Raspberry Pi. These instructions will be different based on the device you are using, but this process shows how a DNS server is configured on Windows 10. Now that Pi-hole is installed and configured, with your DNS server changed in your router or on your client devices, you will be able to see traffic flow through the Pi-hole web portal. This is a great way to ensure everything is working properly. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content and leave any questions you may have in the comments.